Hey, how's it going everybody? I hope you're all good. My name is Peter Gargan, and for this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the upcoming Sonic Superstars, the new 2D Sonic title heading to all platforms later this year. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. I haven't particularly been following news surrounding the Summer Games Fest where the game was announced, so there have been quite a few trailers and announcements for upcoming games dropping out around the same time, but Sonic Superstars is the main one that has stood out to be from what I've seen. For a bit of background, I consider myself a rather casual fan of Sonic. I only really pick up an entry in the series when it really interests me, the last of which being Sonic Mania in 2017. I do have every intention to eventually pick up Sonic Frontiers at some point, as I did enjoy my time with the demo I tried on the Switch eShop, but I guess I wasn't invested enough to prioritise it, especially when it came out in the same year as many other Switch games that I was eagerly anticipating. With that being said, Sonic Mania is up there as one of my favourite 2D platformers of all time. I love how it recreates the feel of the classic Genesis or Mega Drive era while playing much more smoothly, and it appears that Superstars is promising to be the natural evolution of the classic format, upgrading the visuals to a 3D look while retaining the charming design of classic Sonic, which I prefer over the green-eyed modern depiction. Not that I think that there's anything wrong with modern Sonic, I just personally feel that classic Sonic as a character is more charming due to being more restricted to his facial expressions rather than speaking much. I just gravitate towards those kinds of characters a lot more, as I like how you can tell how they're feeling without them needing to say anything. It's a big reason why I love the animated Sonic Mania Adventures miniseries and find myself revisiting them every now and then whenever I want to have a nice little smile. Sonic Superstars is also looking to be the series equivalent of games such as New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, or Rayman Origins, being continuations of classic 2D platformers that stay true to their roots while adopting a new art style. The comparisons to these three I mentioned in particular don't stop there, however as there will be four player co-op play thrown into the mix. Not only do we see the return of Tails and Knuckles, but Amy Rose is now joining the roster. Sure, she was included in the plus update for Sonic Origins, but this will be her first playable appearance in an original 2D game since the Sonic Advance games if I'm not mistaken. She was oddly absent in Mania, so it's nice to see her with us. Going back to the multiplayer, it does make me curious to see how effectively having up to four players at once will be executed, considering the fast-paced nature of Sonic gameplay. Hopefully there won't be an issue of players struggling to keep up with their more competent friends and getting left in the dust, but we'll have to see how that turns out. If anything, I can see a lot of banter unfold from a cooperative experience turning unintentionally competitive as you try to outrun each other. It has also been confirmed that Sonic Superstars will consist of entirely original zones, rather than remixing ones from previous games like what Mania did. While the way Mania executed the distribution of new and old was perfectly fine by adding unique twists to the likes of Green Hill and Chemical Plant, combined with entirely new zones like Press Garden and Mirage Saloon, I appreciate how Superstars is taking a different approach. A common criticism aimed towards a lot of recent Sonic games is the constant reuse of Green Hill Zone at the beginning, and it's a perfectly understandable sentiment, and subverting this is a welcome decision in my opinion. We also see a glimpse at the all new Chaos Emerald powers that can be used in interesting ways depending on the Emerald. This kind of reminds me of the Ion abilities introduced in Metroid Samus Returns and Metroid Dread, although they could also be comparable to the Wisp powers that have been an on and off mechanic in the series ever since Sonic Colors. The ones we've been shown so far include this one that creates invisible platforms, one that allows Sonic and friends to jump up waterfalls, and one that creates a flurry of clones for offensive purposes. Normally the Chaos Emerald's purpose was to collect them or to unlock your chosen character's super form, but it's nice to see them having newfound utility in other forms making collecting them more enticing than before. I decided to take a quick look at the website to see if there was anything else I was missing that I could go over in this video, and I'm glad I did, as we have a couple of interesting character profiles to cover. Not only do we have the return of classic character Fang the Sniper accompanying Eggman, but we now have this new character that goes by the name of Trip. Not much is known yet about Trip, the mysterious girl first encountered by Fang on the North Star Islands. While a bit clumsy, Trip is heavily armoured and has been enlisted by Fang and Dr. Eggman to protect and guide them from the wonders of this uncharted region. Learning more about this character will certainly create intrigue. Could this be another Knuckles situation like in Sonic 3 when Eggman manipulated him to fight against Sonic and Tails? Will we see some dramatic reveal of what's beneath that armour that Trip is wearing? What will Trip and the North Star Islands add to the Sonic lore? I'm interested to find out answers to these questions. Overall, my most anticipated games list for the rest of the year has suddenly started to get rather crowded. I still feel like I've barely scratched the surface of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and Pikmin 4 is now around the corner as of the time of writing this script, and now we have Sonic Superstars joining the already packed list I have in my head. I'm drowning here. How am I going to have enough spare time to experience everything of interest that's on display? Either way, 
I hope that my situation by the time Superstars comes out will allow me to squeeze some of my time out of it, as it's shaping up to be a new spin on the classic format of Sonic that makes natural sense. Anyway, that just about does it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of Sonic Superstars in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on other games I'm interested in talking about. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you later.